2, Legend of Lagaya. Um, I had a little bit of uh, technical difficulties that I had to deal with. Let's just quickly check and make sure everything's running optimally. Okay, yes, yeah, so I can hear myself. We're golden. Perfect. Alright, so. Um, that's what I get for freaking messing around with settings. One quick second. I'm gonna turn this down a bit on my end because the game music is very, very loud. Actually, I think it has to be that loud because if it's not, you folks at home cannot hear it. So, shock and surprise, yes, I emulate this, but it's not without warrant. I actually have a physical copy of the game. I am not save stating, and there's the disc, if you don't believe me. You know, genuine PS1 disc. So, I am not stealing my favorite game in the whole world. Well, I can't say my favorite game in the whole world, but one of my favorite games in the whole world. Anyway, continuing on. So, last we left off, I told you all I would do some off-camera farming to get uh, some gold and some armor and what have you. Um, everybody is now level 15 with the exception of Gala, so let's take a quick look here. How much more do you need? Oh, you are literally at the cusp, my friend. You just need about 3k more. You need about 2k and you need about 3k. Okay, so everyone's about ready to level again, which is fantastic. Um, I actually went out and managed to get everyone's optimized gear and I now know where I gotta go so without further ado let us continue wow this actually looks a hell of a lot better than you know when I prior when I streamed last Ugh. okay good I can escape at this point, I no longer need to uh, farm or kill certain enemies just because I am at a certain level. I am actually impressed at how nice this looks now. I mean, it could just be me, you know, blowing smoke out of my ass, but it wouldn't be the first time. Alright, let's get it on. Wow, I actually know. It's not just me blowing smoke out of my ass. It legitimately looks a little bit better. Like, it looks significantly cleaner. Um... Okay. I'm actually gonna... laugh here because you can see where Vaughn's character model is behind... the, uh... the, the board. If you look carefully, you can... Yeah, you can totally see his character model wiggling behind it. Same deal with Noah. Um, let's see. I'm gonna give that to you. Can you do four attacks yet? You cannot. Um... I have a very bad habit of leaning closer to the mic just so I can get like better sound levels. Do I have anything I can elevate the mic with? Mouse box.
Ah, yes, it's actually a very good size, and I can now elevate it closer. I wonder if it's in the shot. Shouldn't be. Nope, it's not in the shot. We're good. And it actually... Let's see, does it make me sound a little bit louder? Alright, let's get Noah up to 100 AP. There we go. Okay, now, ugh. All right, there are, there's some tearing going on here. Like the world is shifting around and you can see like wire framework, but whatever. I'm actually thinking, like, um, what game to stream next, because I have a buddy who streams League of Legends, and I've actually been playing that a little bit more with him, and I'm kind of thinking about streaming League again, because I'm not as good as I used to be, but I'm having fun. So, that and you'll see a completely different side of me, the competitive, goofy side that just screams obscenities and, you know, sounds like I have some kind of mental handicap. No offense to anybody who has a mental handicap, but, you know, ugh, there's no easy way out of that one. Congratulations, Dan, you just uh, lost about 300 subscribers out of the five that you've had. Uh, 41, sorry. Okay, so, I think I'm supposed to read this in a numerical order. Oh, another thing I've done. I've actually went and got everybody orb. So now everybody has AoE healing. Get rid of that. We're gonna charm you, and you're gonna spear it up. Get Noah's spirit up a bit. So essentially what we are going to be doing in this run through for today, we are going to get to what is now called the Ancient Path, I think. Actually, we can probably start killing. Okay. Good, she's at 96. We just wanted her to get a little, you know, up there. There we go. Good. But yeah, for future streams, I'm thinking about doing League of Legends. Um, probably once I actually land a job and get money, I will be playing Mario Odyssey. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be streaming that one because I think that one's more of a just relax and play with Becky kind of game. Okay, so there goes book one. Book two. Book three. And then the fourth book I didn't read, which is probably what, uh, why I couldn't progress. Can I escape? 
I mean, it's just a bee in an orb. Fuck. Alright, we're gonna charm the bee. And we're gonna kill the orb. Oh, good, it poisoned him. I think. Well, that thing's dead. On the pedestal is Book of Prophecy, Volume 4. Do you wish to read it? To those who walk in the mist, this is the fourth prophecy. Read it well. The gate of shadows is a stone flower. The words of the four faces will cause a great flower to bloom. However, for the true gate born in the flower, seek out the key. That key is the Star Pearl, a silent treasure that slumbers deep under the Palace of Rem. The Star Pearl will open the true gate. Heroes, pass and take the ancient path to Rem's bosom. In the distance, the sound of some machine operating is heard. Really? That was the hidden passage? Von Gala, stairs. There are stairs there now. Wow. I mean, you have to remember, I think she's like 11, so that kind of makes sense that she, you know. Anyway, the secret will be revealed when you read the four books. So this is what the message Hari gave to Sashia meant. That star pearl must be at the bottom of the stairs. Von, let's go down the stairs. Well, well. So you're here to look for treasure, too. Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> what am I doing? Some greeting, that is. I should be asking you what you're doing here. Hey, Becky. But let me introduce myself. I am Kara, a 2-bit thief. I don't know, you look a bit 64-bit uh, to me. <laughs> I'm Noah, this is Von and Gala. Kara, I ask you again, what are you doing here? Oh, you make me laugh. I'm doing whatever you are. Sneak thieving. Sneak thieving? What's that? Uh, I'd like to know the same. It's something bad. It's stealing from people.
That's wrong. Sneak thieving is wrong. I hate bad people. Huh. <laughs> Give me a break. Stop talking like a goody two-shoes. You mean you're going home empty-handed even though everything... Even though everyone ran away and the town is deserted? What did you just say? Everyone ran away? Oh boy, you guys are really clueless. That's right, everyone's gone. They knew the mist was coming and took the elevator to an underground shelter to hide. Underground... shelter? So he's still alive. Hari's still alive. Let's take the elevator and go find him. Sorry, kid, but the elevator won't work. It's locked, probably as a safety precaution. Oh, brother. Uh, say, if it's valuables you're after, there are none here. The townspeople must have taken everything with them when they went underground. The only thing I found was some measly jewel, called the Star Pearl or something. Wait a minute, Kara. The Star Pearl, where is it? You want that piece of junk? <laughs> well then, I'll tell you where it is. I palmed the Star Pearl off on a jeweler in... Jeremy? I think his name was Zalin or something. Kara, wait. We still have much to ask you. Oh yeah? Well, I don't have anything to say to you. See you later. Damn, the sass is real. I don't get it. How can she travel through the mist at will without a Rosaru? Noah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the Star Pearl. Vaughn, Z Zalin and Jeremy has the Star Pearl. I thought somebody was talking to Noah. I didn't realize it was her talking. Alright, so that elevator is completely locked, and I need to go back to Jeremy. And there we go. Um, let's see. Spirit, attack, command. We're gonna do that to you. Uh, Becky, real fast. Is the game volume too loud, or is my voice not loud enough? That's right, Curry Devil, you just sit there. Let everybody get their spirits up. Alrighty, so... Is the game, like, louder than me, or...? that matters then. Oof. It's a good thing I'm going back to Jeremy because there's a free in there.
<clears throat> okay, so now we just run back to Jeremy. Ugh, I'm getting hungry. Ah, just means when I'm done streaming, it's gonna be dinner time. The question is, what do I eat? Alright, so now we make the Audra's journey back to Jeremy. So we can speak with Zalin and tell him, yo dog, give us that star pearl. Oh, perfect. Surprise the enemy, eh? Well, you are going to summon Vigoro because we actually need him to level up a bit. All right. Oh, wait. Vaughn went before Noah? That should not even be possible. I think Noah has like 120 speed. Ooh, this actually looks so much nicer. Hell yeah, Vigoro's magic level increased. Except Vaughn looks like he's ready to freaking keel over. I do need the Star Pearl in order to get through the uh, Gate of Shadows, so. I was like, can't I just go to the underground place now? And then I was like, oh wait, no, I'm going back to Jeremy. Well, it's a good thing I can summon Vigoro twice now. Alright, get your hit you all about to die. Kind of want to see if I can draw Vigoro, because he's, aesthetically, he's one of my favorite looking, uh, Seru. Like, I don't get, like, well, no, I understand why. His proportions are, like, yes, um, you know, he's disproportionate. Like, there are parts of him that are large in proportion to the small parts of him. So, like, his shoulders are huge and his, like, biceps are tiny while his forearms are huge. That and, uh, it also shares a very similar aesthetic to one of my favorite, well, not one, but to my favorite Pokemon of all time, Haunter. So, just, I don't know. Something about him just, it, it works. <laughs> Gonna have to look up like concept art and references though. Might post it up on my Twitter if I finish uh, drawing it and see how it looks. Just so you know, I probably draw like shit right now. It's been forever since I've actually done anything artistic. Hey, 
Good job, Gala. You're faster than an ogre. Get everybody spirited up. Ooh, baby, she can do eight. So let's see here. Do you get anything new with eight, Noah? Ooh, she does get something new with eight. Okay, that probably does a shitload more damage to things that aren't flying. But, yeah, no, that's awesome. She can now do that. <laughs> Might want to test that out on somebody because, uh... I know for a fact the next boss I'm going up against is not a friendly one. Okay, we are now back in Jeremy. There is a inn right over here that'll let us stay for free, which is good. This is actually how I farmed up money, was just run around outside of Jeremy and... Well, no, that's a lie. I actually ran around outside of Octum to farm up the uh, orbs, and that's how I got a good portion of experience and money. Alright, so, let's go talk to Zalin. Hey, buddy old pal. Zalin, can I ask you something? What? Do you know anything about the Star Pearl? Noah, uh, you can't just ask out of the blue like that. <laughs> yes, Noah, I know of the Star Pearl. In fact, it's right here in my hand. Here it is. Wow, neat. It's the Star Pearl. Can I have it, please? <laughs> Of course you may. I have no use for it. Here you are. Vaughn now has the Star Pearl. A shifty looking female thief palmed it off on me. It has no value as a precious gem. I would have never thought something like this would make someone so happy. Thank you so much, everyone, from the bottom of my heart. I, I mean... You literally just gave us a story progression item, dude. You shouldn't be thanking us. It's the other way around, but whatever. Actually, I wonder if I go buy a door of wind, can I actually teleport back to, uh, to where I need to be? Let's go find out. All right. Door of Wind acquired. Let's see if it'll actually take me to where I need to be. It's also good that I have about 4K G again, because uh, I think in this next area, there's going to be weapons that I do need. It does not, but it will take me to Octum, which is close enough. 
Okay. Onward to the sh Gate of Shadows. Shit, do I still have that card? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so the next boss I should be fighting is actually the boss that is on the cover of the disc. Uh, let me see. I showed it earlier, but... That is the boss I'm getting ready to go fight. If you could have seen it. I'll check the recording. Yeah, okay. So it shows. Uh, his name is Zane, and he is a pain in the ass. Which is actually what the name of the stream is named after. A load of bull. Get it? Because he's... He, Alright, I'll show myself up. Later, everybody. Alright. I also have... I also realize that I have to be funny in order to do shit like that. Okay. Should be nearing the Gate of Shadows here shortly. Okay, so I believe it's right across this bridge. Yep, there it is. And we will save it. Right here. With everyone at full HP and MP. Because now once I go through um, the ancient path, there's going to be a few Rosaru that I need to capture. Or, Seru that I need to capture. Visit the past, touch the west key. Which symbol do you wish to press? Fire. North key is Earth. East key is Wind. And the South key is Water. And there we go. I may actually play Lagaya 2 if I get enough people to, you know, want me to play it. Because, like, I own it, I just need to hook up my PS2, and if I hook up my PS2, I might actually play uh, Persona 3, because I'm, like, halfway through it. Just never got around to finishing it. Ah, also, thank you for the follow once it pops up. Ah, there we go. Lord VX, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, really? Well, I mean, I already own it on the PS2, so there's really no reason to repurchase it unless they HD remaster it. So, let's see. Vaughn, look, it's moving. The stone is moving. This is so exciting. Yeah, except it also sounds like... What kind of internal mechanism is this? Also, welcome to the new viewers. 
we're actually getting somewhere in the fucking story. As a kid, I think I got as far as the Delilahs, like fighting the Delilahs, and then they just completely stomped me because I had no concept of farming up level. Oh wow, look. Vaughn, look, the big stone flower opened. Yeah, that too. I mean, I haven't had too many load time issues. Because, like I said, I'm emulating this, but I have my physical copy sitting right next to me. Vaughn, look, the center of the stone flower. Something strange. Some strange thing is moving. That must be the entrance to the path leading to underground Octum. Or it could just be, you know, the main villain from Sonic Adventure 1. You can't just let me have this. You can't run from two giant mechanical crabs. Alright, good job. Oh, right, nobody's wearing the deep sea gem, so. Oof. That one actually smarted a bit. Alright, fuckers, you wanna play? Let's play. Um. I mean, ah, shit. I wanted to Vigoro them, but. Oh, come on, Vaughn. You got literally, like... Can you do five? Or four yet? You cannot. Oh yeah, that's right. Every time the uh, Brasaru level up, they change in form. Completely forgot about that, which is why um, Meta now looks like it has like spikes coming out of the back end. And uh, why Ozma looks like it's enveloping my entire arm. And you can still only do, yeah, you can still only do five. Whatever. <laughs> Whew! 613 damage. Hell yeah. You need to be buffed up just a bit more, my friend. But on the stone flower has a small hole in writing on it. Know well that the star pearl opens the door to the past. Do you wish to throw the star pearl into the small hole? Yeah, sure, why not? Vaughn threw the star pearl into the bud of the stone flower. The door opened. I mean, if that's what you want to call it. All right, we are now in Ancient Path. Which is good, because there's things down here that I need to capture. Oh, actually, one quick second, I'm so sorry.
There we go. Okay. So there should be an item at the end of this path. Yep, there it is. Ah, very good. Nova's here too. So I need to capture three of those. So, spirit, spirit, spirit. I don't think Gala is going to be capturing anything because I think that just rotted him. We're going to get rid of that with you. She's getting close to doing a thousand damage with that. Okay, I think this is the only Seru that is in here that I can catch. So, at some point I have to get everybody three Novas. Yeah, no, not dealing with that. That don't look like no bird I've ever done did see saw. Damn, I'm getting lucky with these escapes.
Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't have Dad's car. I'll do that tomorrow. You know, I'm kind of doing something right now, and you guys are just... killed it. Howdy viewer, welcome. You're about to go down.
Alright, good. Vaughn got it. Vaughn's getting... Well, he also has the Ivory Book, so which is probably why he's getting all the uh, summonings. Howdy viewer, welcome. doesn't seem no there's an invisible wall that stops you from doing that see I'm like running at the wall and it won't let me Two more Novas. Should be getting near the end here. Okay, good. There's a Nova. This thing has about roughly 600 health. Let's get rid of you.
know, your full poop and potential. Really? It blocked? Your full pooping potential. God damn it. Okay, yeah, I think this is the underground town. Yep. Vaughn, Gala, over here. There's a whole lot of people here. Ah, these must be the caverns under Octum. Octum? That means Hari must be here. He's the one who can tell me what my dreams mean. He must be here, right? Yep. Hooray, Vaughn, let's go find Hari. What time is it? It's 8.11, so I got time. Uh, let's go visit the weapon shop. Because if I'm not mistaken, there's a... Alright, oh, the cutscene with the earthquake. Everyone run. And now that house is going to go. Look at Deborah's house. It's going to collapse. Ah, oh, it's shaking. Someone help me. Okay, bye, Deborah. I don't believe it. This is worse than a nightmare. Oh no, wow. Vaughn, did you see that? The whole house collapsed. I don't think it was the house that collapsed. I think it was the pillar that gave way. Like the foundation got destroyed. Weapon store, weapon store. Why are there two safe spots here? That's the elevator. Of course, the weapon stores in the inn. Great. There's a whole mess load of things for people to buy now. That would definitely help. Yeah, why not?
Okay, so that did help out a lot. <laughs> Yeah, let's get rid of that too, I guess. Don't really need it. I'm gonna regret that decision, I'm sure. So all I need is the fighting boots, so I need about 3k more. Stay the night and heal up. I'm gonna go save real fast. And I will be right back. All right, I am back now. <laughs> we are gonna quickly try and get that 3k 
and uh, the other two Novas. Actually, I can do that off camera. Because that shit's boring to watch, and I know it is. Well, we found Hari, but he's apparently asleep. Healing flower. Fury boost. Magic water. Life water.
Okay, maybe I can sell some of the stuff I just picked up that I don't need to buy the last bit of armor. There we go. Now everybody is fully equipped. Let's quickly use those waters. Save again. Alright, now I just want to quickly see what my weapons and armor look like. and she should be able to catch it. Ooh. All right, Vaughn, calm down. got medicine, so... Let's quickly sell off that medicine, because I don't need it. Okay, we don't really need it, because Noah's only down by 10. Alright, so let's see, where is the mayor? What eerie earthquakes, it's like they're picking off houses one by one. This used to be the mayor's house, but now it's a shelter for people who lost their homes. Things are so bad now, I wish Hari would wake up. Hari looks like a little kid, but he's really older than everyone here. We managed to escape the mist thanks to the prophecies of Ari. 
Mr. Mayor is always upstairs on the third floor. Okay, cool. The only person who said anything useful is this little kid. Let's talk to the old people. Every time the ground shakes, I get so scared thinking about this. Just thinking that this might be the time this place collapses. Old did you youngsters talk to Hari? No. It's just... It's just as well. He's asleep now and can't talk to anyone. Silence. <laughs> that old woman lost her entire family in a recent earthquake. She hasn't spoken a word since then. There used to be in there used to be ancient ruins here, but when the mist covered the outside world, we came here to hide and build new homes. There's no reason to live anymore. Oh shit, that's kind of grim. The reality is worse than this reality is worse than any nightmare. All right. Well, you are strangers here. Yes, I am the mayor, a useless one. Ha 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 ha. The people suffer so much, but I can do nothing. What an incompetent mayor I am. Ha ha. I only if only Hari would awaken, then we could do something about the situation. This is a dangerous place, so you do well to leave here quickly. Between me and you, I may have escaped the mist so far, but I don't expect to live much longer. Come here, everyone. It's Hari. Hari. Okay, I guess he woke up. Hari is finally awake. Well, there you go. No. <laughs> Your Honor, it finally happened. Hari is finally awake. You don't say. What wonderful news. The town is saved. There's no time to waste. We must hurry to Hari at the Palace of Meditation. I like how nobody even, like, remotely checked to see if I was okay. How deplorable. Hari won't even talk to me, the mayor. He says he wishes to speak only to you outsiders. How rejected I feel. I am the Hari of the present. I shall tell you what drifts on the surface of time. Are you ready to hear about the present? Now let's hear about the past first. Rem is the god of, of the three faces. It is up to you which face you wish to see. However, once you see one face, you may not leave without seeing the other two. Once you are ready to hear about the present, you have only to speak to me. I am Hari of the past. I shall reveal to you the headwaters of the flow of time. Are you ready to hear about the past? Sure. The start of your journey is the inevitability of the time that connects the past to the present. The interrelation among the mist, Seru and Rasaru, is part of the inevitability. In 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 wow, I cannot speak. Alright, that word of time. Fuck. The inevitability. Alright, I'm, I'm not even going to try anymore. So fucking tongue-tied. Beyond the human world in which we live, in which we live, is the home of the Seru, the Seru Kai. All Seru in the human world are born of the Seru Kai. Human world and Seru Kai are indivisible, but the two worlds were destined to remain apart. However, an unfortunate accident allowed the Seru to enter the human world. Humankind learned of the Seru's power and built civilization. But people depended on Saru too much, and it warped the human spirit, leading to great tragedy. At the heart of the mist is a demon. Even through Rem's eyes, its true nature is unclear. This demon, neither human nor Saru, used the mist to destroy the world. It is no coincidence that you have been chosen by the Ross Saru. Fight with all your strength. The power of the Genesis trees is with you. 
This is the realm of the past. Did you watch closely? Did you listen closely? I have told you all of Rem's words. I will now go back to sleep. Inevitability? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Sorry. It's been on the back of my mind and I've been... Alright. Moving on. I'm the Hari of the present. I shall tell you what drifts on the surface of time. Are you ready to hear about the present? Yeah, sure. The Mist's henchmen are in the last stage. They plan to destroy the world completely. They are now tenaciously pursuing us, who have barely survived the Mist's attack. They are now raising an army to kill legions or turn them into Seru monsters. Deep below Octum, at the bottom of the fire path, are their henchmen. Vaughn, Noah, Gala, use the power of your holy Seru to destroy the demon's henchmen. That is the only way to save this town from danger. The only way to save the world from imminent annihilation is to save each individual life. Fight with all your strength. The power of the Genesis trees is with you. That is the rim of the present. Did you watch closely? Did you listen closely? Yep. So now his eyes turn from green to brown. I have told you all of Rem's words. I will now go back to sleep. I am, I am the Hari of the future. I should tell you the destination of the flow of time. Are you ready to hear about the future? Unfortunately, the shadow of the mist also covers the future. Even with the divine powers of Rem, it is not possible to see into the future. I can tell you this only. Listen well. Vaughn, a horrible tragedy will shatter your hopes. Noah, your parents are still alive. They are in con... Conqueror in Caristo Kingdom. Did you hear that, Vaughn? Let's go to Caristo Kingdom. Let's go to Conquerum. Conquerum. Yes, if you go to Conquerum, Noah, you will see your parents. But beware, seeing them will disturb you greatly. In New Gala, in Songi, you will find a nightmare awaiting. Remember, Songi is your shadow, your alter ego. Viewed as part of the flow of time, tragedy and salvation are two sides of the same coin. Yourselves may pull the trigger and cause nightmares to happen. But as long as there is hope, the deep, swift flow of the river of time may fulfill your hopes. Fight with all your strength. The power of the Genesis trees is with you. This is the realm of the future. Did you watch closely? Did you listen closely? I have told you all of Rem's words. I will now go back to sleep. Come on, Gala, don't forget, we have to go to Conquerum. Conquerum. Sungi is my shadow. What on earth could that mean? I heard the good news, so you're going to save this town. The fire path of which Hari spoke is a tunnel to the northwest of the town. I told the guard there to let you pass. Well then, I must be going. Some town guard you are. Well, those guys are now dead. The earth op the earth opened up and swallowed Hari. Well, it also swallowed a bunch of other people, too. Vaughn, can you hear me? Vaughn. No, Agala, are you there? Vaughn, no, Agala. I knew that the earth would swallow us up. Everything that happens is predestined in the heart of Rem god of time. But here's the Rosaru. You must not forget the mission with which you have been entrusted. 
The Hari the Present ordered you to first head to the Fire Path. Destroy the henchmen of the Mist who have brought Calamity to Octum. That will open the door to a new future for you. The three forces of Remor are watching over you. We will meet someday at an unexpected place. Fight with all your strength. The power of the Genesis Trees is with you. will lie to you. You're right, Hari could never die. You don't even know anything about him, you just met him. I don't mean to be cruel, but you must both face reality. No one, not even Hari, could live through all that. You heard Hari's last words. He's dead. <laughs> don't say that, Gala. You're so mean. You have a cold heart. Before he died, Hari told us to save Optum, right? Noah, you can feel sad later, but now we have to do what Hari instructed. That's the best way to respect his memory. Am I right, Vaughn? Yeah, you're right. The fire path, that's where Hari said the mist's henchmen were. Let's go to the fire path and get those henchmen. And get those mist henchmen. Let's knock their blocks off. so I can get to and from places. See if the mayor will grant me access. I told the guard at the entrance of the fire path to let you through. Thick mist flows through the fire path. Be very careful. Being that we didn't get to Zane, I'm going to retitle this stream. There we go. We renamed the stream to a Hari situation. Okay, I'm actually going to save and quit here. Oh, excuse me. Because I actually need to eat, and as you heard earlier, there is turmoil afoot in my house. So I need to figure out what's pissing my parents off. Anyways, guys, again, thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit the follow button. If you're on YouTube, hit the uh, subscribe button. The bell notification will let you know anytime I post videos, which is always after my streams which I stream Monday through Friday from 7 to 9 p.m. Um, I'm just ending it a little early today. Um, that is subject to change because I'm currently trying to get my life back in order, and that's proving harder than normal for some weird reason, but we'll get there. Anyways, somewhere over there is going to be a video that I have posted, also a button to subscribe to my channel, and a link to subscribe to my buddy Chun. Give him a view. He's actually really cool. Does a lot of cool stuff, too. Anyways, guys, till next time. See you later.